Now we're getting to the general formatting. Now before we go too far with that, I just want to say if you used a photo from the internet anywhere, whether this is on your cover page or anywhere in your content somewhere, um, something that you didn't make, like these we obviously made ourselves, so that's fine. But if you used any kind of content from the internet, please remember you have to have the URL about from where you got that photo. It has to be there right there with the photo in a little text box. Just to say photo from and then paste, paste the URL um, as proof. Okay, that's very important. Now, let's have a look at um, the technical aspects. So, they will see it as a professional document which you get your four marks for. If you have appropriate readable font size and number, not more than two fonts. Now, this, as well as the headings that's given due prominence, will all happen automatically if you just used styles. Okay? So, as a matter of just checking your work now, what I would recommend is go through your whole document and just check all the normal text should be formatted as a normal style. And then you'll see it will be anywhere between 10 to 12 in size. Then you know that's the correct size. And you can't have one bit that is large and another bit that's smaller and bold and italic and a mix of stuff. No. And you'll see that all has to be the same font, but it'll happen automatically if you've used styles. So if you're unsure, maybe just select everything and then apply normal style again. Okay. Check your headings. Check that these are heading styles and that you didn't go and change them after that. Remember, if you want to change your headings, you go do it over here. All right. Um, they also said that the tables, the headings also need to have due prominence in the tables. So just check that in the tables that your headings, that the table design has a header row because then they will have, then they will be bold and that kind of thing. But they can't actually be a heading style because then you will have trouble. Okay. All right, next up, they said, there needs to be appropriate line and paragraph spacing, so no empty paragraphs. Now, an empty paragraph, let's switch on our show and hide. Now, these are paragraph signs, okay? Everywhere we pressed enter. So, there we have an empty paragraph. There we have two empty paragraphs, empty paragraph. So, remove the empty paragraphs, okay? And if you want more space, like back to top, I really want a bit more space there. Then I can use my layout tab, spacing before, to actually create more space instead of using an enter. Okay. So you're going to look through your document, check that there aren't any empty enters, like here as well. I can see one. Okay. Press delete. That generally works better. Just check sometimes there's one on the cover page that you can't remove because then it moves up the table of contents um, heading. I have correct word spacing. Now here it tells you exactly what. Only one space between words or after punctuation marks. And correct punctuation. The fact that you actually have a full stop at the end of every sentence. And every sentence starts with a capital letter at the beginning of the sentence. Okay. Now, if you do a spell check, this will usually be shown out. This will usually be pointed out to you anyway. So do a spelling or grammar check. Now, to do a spelling or grammar check, you select your whole document, Control A. Make sure that your language is set correctly, English South Africa. Now, if you have written your document in Afrikaans, you can actually download the Microsoft Afrikaans proofing tools from the internet if you have internet connection. Um, and then if you see this icon, then that means this Afrikaans spell checker is um, installed on your computer. Then you can do the spell check in Afrikaans as well. So mine's in English, South Africa. That's fine. I'm going to remove that. I do want to, to spell, do the spelling check and grammar check. And very important, go and do that for your abstract as well and um, people often forget because this is in a text box it doesn't uh, often it also it stays in a different language so just set this one 
um, in the correct language and do a spell check over there as well. So the spell check itself, you get under review, check document, and then you'll check um, all the spelling errors that they point out to you and the suggestions, then you can fix them. Okay, the grammar as well, they can't be grammar either, errors either. Okay. Then, lastly, consistent formatting throughout. Um, that's where I said as earlier, can't have one paragraph in italics, the next one in bold, something like that. But as long as you used styles, you shouldn't have any problems with that. So just go through your document again and check that all the headings are the right sizes, it's the right um, level of heading, heading one, heading two, or heading three. All the body text is the same size. No, nothing in a different format. You'll see these captions that we've inserted is a different format, and that is correct. It's supposed to be. That's caption is a caption style. So don't change that. That should be that way. Um, but the rest, don't check that it's all the same.